Good morning and welcome to WMG here at the University of Warwick and to this event which is Accessing India Automotive and Advanced Engineering Sector event. Um, to start proceedings I'd like to uh, welcome Dr. Aman Puri, the Consul General of India in Birmingham to say a few words of introduction. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you here for this very important conference which is going to focus on the potential areas of collaboration between United Kingdom and India in the sectors of automotive and advanced manufacturing. The India Brand Equity Foundation study expects India to be the fourth largest automobile producer globally by 2020 behind China, United States and Japan. Another arena with enormous potential in India is the sphere of electric vehicles. Just to give one figure, the mass conversion to EVs may generate USD 300 billion domestic market for EV batteries by 2030. Clean mobility powered by clean energy is the most powerful weapon in our fight against climate change. Coventry and Warwickshire is the centre of the UK's automotive industry, with firms employing over 46,500 people. And it's a sector that's seen a growth of over 12% over these last two years. However, it's also a sector that's facing monumental shifts. And therefore, there's a great opportunity for increased business development, for technology sharing, and for building trade between our countries. The Make India initiative of the government of India encourages British businesses to explore and build a footprint in India. And today, the company is Europe, is UK's largest manufacturing company. And the most, the reason that it's most successful that we have an engineer, a German engineer, running the company so that the models that are there, you know, and, and the reason why I did that because one of the biggest problems of British industry is the short termism. You put money in and you want to get back immediately. Mind you, it's no different in India. But uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, immediately you want the returns. So that's history and that is one of the reasons why today Coventry and Warwickshire, the catalyst for the development of that is JLR. And 10 years ago, uh, Ratan Tata had the vision to bring Czech oil Land Rover to the Tata family. GLI has really grown to become a global player in luxury, premium and performance uh, uh, vehicles. And I guess it's also an example of British team guys innovation and an engineering excellence. For many years, Ratan Tata was at the helm of the Tata Group, and now as Chairman Emeritus, Ratan Tata has encouraged group companies like JLR to continuously rethink about how we do business, how we do innovate. In the automotive, you will see more change in the next five years than in the last 50 as autonomous, connected, electrified and shared vehicles will become real. And at the end of the day, if you really want to have this integrated mobility, no company can do it on its own anymore. And that is why Jaguar Land Rover, Tata WMG have together now invested another 150 million in the largest single automotive technology facility in Europe. And now officially named the Bhattacharya building. In skills, India leads the way producing more qualified engineers than anywhere else in the world. And India is very well positioned to respond because it has innovation embedded in the fabric of its society. And the opportunity for the day and tomorrow is to harness India's rich exp experience and skills in the new mobility ecosystems. Not just to make in India but to make with India and to make also for India. And part of our commitment um, to the India-UK technology partnership that was launched by Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister May in April this year, 110,000, uh, I call them Indian-owned jobs, parent company uh, in uh, India, 
here in the UK. Four technology driven trends, electrification, shared mobility, connectivity and autonomous driving. These are the ones that are going to dictate and lead the automobile industry to this disruption that I've been mentioning. These trends will shift markets and revenue pools, change mobility behavior and build new avenues for competition and cooperation between countries as well. We are the world's largest tractor manufacturer in terms of units, world number one in terms of two-wheeler manufacturing, second largest bus manufacturing. Uh, we just overtook Germany. We are fourth largest car manufacturer in the world. In fact, three years down the line, we will beat Japan and we will be the world's third largest car manufacturer. We contribute about 27% uh, of the industrial GDP and 7.5% of the <coughs> overall GDP of the country. We contribute about 13% to the tax revenue and we employ around 7 to 8%.